Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and I've got another watercolor botanical today. This one is a little red-headed house finch and apricots with little apricot blossoms. First thing I do is outline very lightly with a color, a watercolor that will match with the with the main color of the flower or the item is, like the apricots. I'll I'll use an orangey red for my outline, and then I can erase all these pencil lines so they won't show anymore. And there's my little finch there over on the side. You know, I was thinking um, and writing about this week about common questions I get asked. And I remember when I used to teach uh, in the public school system, I'd bring in some artwork, I'd show them my art, and then we'd have a little art lesson. And the most common question that the kids would ask me, really, was, um, what's up with your signature? Because I only sign my first name, and I use uh, initials SDG after it and they wanted to know if that stood for something if it was you know my last name my middle name whatever so I had to tell them the whole story there's there's a whole story behind it <coughs> first of all when I got married I didn't think a thing of uh, changing my last name and signing my artwork with my new married name but then that marriage didn't last, only four years, and I switched back to my maiden name, and I thought, you know, somewhere down the road, this could be quite confusing for people looking for my artwork to find, you know, two different last names, and what if I married again, which I did. And so early on then, right after my divorce, I decided to stop signing my last name just my first name and why not Cher doesn't use her last name or Madonna Caravaggio uh, Drew Struson only signs Drew on his um, famous posters uh, that he does uh, he's done the posters for um, Back to the Future and the the whole um, Indiana Jones series, but those are just naming a few. And then um, I got to admiring some other artists um, who were, you know, in galleries and in art shows, and I saw that many of them had initials after their name and I after some research I found out that the initials stood for the art society that they belonged to that they were signature members of and just belonging to an art society doesn't give you the privilege of using their initials after your name you have to earn that by gaining points after being entered in a number of shows, um, winning awards, etc. And it took several years for me to get mine. But early on, right after my divorce, I didn't have the money to join a society. Those, you know, there's a yearly fee, and I just didn't have it. Me and my little, the, my little girls were on our own and struggling at that so there was just no chance but then after reading a biography about Beethoven I was so moved by 
why he signed um, SDG or the Latin Solo Deo Gloria next to his name on every piece of music that he wrote. And that was because he wanted God alone to get the glory. Even though he was signing his name, he wanted God's name to be up front. And I thought, oh, that is fabulous. That's exactly how I feel about it. And so I started using the initials SDG, Solo Deo Gloria. I felt like I not only was I giving God the glory, but I was an exclusive member of a very prestigious art society that only, only God has. And um, explaining all this to the school children was quite fun because you're not supposed to bring up God, but they asked. <laughs> So it was a two for one deal. <laughs> and ever since I have been using SDG next to my first name when I sign my work. Years and years later, I was able to join uh, the Society of West Coast Artists. And after 10 years it took me, I earned my signature membership but SDG is first, and then SWA after that. I realize that's a long drawn out story, but it meant something to me. So I'm on the downhill side of painting this. As you can see, I do it in layers. I. I add the first layer of watercolor, very pale, very light, and then build up the layers on top of that because watercolor is very translucent. The light shines through each of the layers and it adds depth and warmth and I, I like the way watercolor can be built up in that way. I mean. Uh, you can't do that with acrylics very, very well, or oils, because they're quite opaque. And uh, only watercolor has that feel where you can still see the glow, the white of the paper underneath shining through. I'm giving a blush to my apricots, a little pink blush there. And it's just about time to sign my name. And there you are. I sure hope you enjoyed watching this painting and hearing my explanation for my SDG after my name. And um, do come again. Check out some of my links below. It would just really make my day if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribed but also checked out some of the things I, I do. I publish children's books and crafts book, craft books and I have a Patreon page where people support me in my work and I'm on Facebook so come check me out. Thanks so much for watching. Do come again. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.